Hello people, how are you doing? It's CJ Atemo the Sage here and it's another episode of Wisdom Moments on K24. I hope that you are having a great day wherever you were. For those of you who are watching this from YouTube, well, uh, depending on what hour of the day or the night you are in, I still hope that you are keeping well. If you're just waking up to this good morning, if you're about to go to bed good evening but wherever you are i hope that you are well and in health and good spirits and you are strong in body and in mind i began talking about getting unstuck sometimes we stay too long in the past whether that past has been good or bad mostly when it has been what we consider to be bad we stay right there because of the pain or the trauma of it and we seem not to be able to get ourselves out of our emotional cocoons to just move forward with life sometimes there's the battle between the mind that wants to go into the future and the emotions that want to stay either in the past or in the present and so it becomes such a battle for people to just get unstuck and move on but i hope that these conversations will be helpful to you before i get into uh, it today i'd like to ask you to subscribe to my youtube channel cj atemo and uh, make sure that you set notifications watch post your comments and share as well like the videos and let's get to interact and grow the community together right over there. Invite your friends as well to just like um, our pages all across. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, I'm on Facebook, CJ Atemo. I've also got the page CJ Atemo School of Leadership right there. So if you're seeking mentorship, if you want personal development coaching, uh, just check out on us right over there. And you can get in touch via the email on the screen the email address on the screen as well connect with me on linkedin and i'd be so glad to be right there big shout out to panari hotel i'm coming to you right from over there i am in the presidential lounge uh presidential suite rather uh that is uh at the panari hotel on and along mombasa road and it's such a beautiful place for anyone to come in it's an amazing and amazing place the serenity uh the ambience around and then of course from the various restaurants you'd get excellent cuisine as well as a great view of the Nairobi National Park and the Expressway too. So check out the Panari Hotel and uh, it would be great service to you. So we started talking about getting unstuck and I spoke about, you know, looking at yesterday as your lesson. Today, I want to give you another tip of getting unstuck and that is you did what you did because of what you knew. You did what you did because of what you knew. What that means is don't beat yourself too hard. Sometimes we blame ourselves for things we would not have controlled in any other way. We blame ourselves sometimes for things we wouldn't have controlled in any other way. When I talk about making difficult decisions, I say that when you're making a difficult decision, ask yourself whether that is the same decision you would make in any other circumstance. Or would that be the decision that somebody else being in your place, sitting in your place, would make? All factors holding. When you look at the things that you mostly will be upset about, the things that you did because of the level of knowledge or exposure that you had. You probably trusted somebody because that's all that you knew then. You got into a business deal and you lost the money because you were naive there is what you knew. You are not at that place now. So to beat yourself today over who you were yesterday would be very unfair to you. You made the mistakes that you made because you knew less than you know now. Now, the only issue would be if you would repeat the same mistake right now. That's the only time that there would be a problem. But if yesterday's experiences have made you the kind of person that would make different uh, decisions, make different decisions right now or choices right now, then you shouldn't get stuck at that time. Sometimes I hear people talk about, you know, I wish I knew. When I look back, I feel so foolish. I feel so stupid. You're not stupid now. You may have acted foolishly before, but that's the you that has had not evolved to the you that is here right now. Of course, one of the ways to know that you are growing is to look back and feel 
that there are certain things you'd have done better. That means that you are growing. It means that your perspective of life is changing. It means that you are getting greater knowledge and you are standing on a better ground to make decisions. If you cannot see that with some things in your life, then the probability is that you are not growing. So instead of looking at it as something that would hold you back in the past and you feel so bad and you feel so angry, uh, you can look at it as something that is positive because you did what you did then because of what you knew then. When people don't view life like that, they get vengeful. They feel that they need to use their current power to address their past pain. That's what revenge is. So you feel that you need to use your current power. You probably have status now. You have money. You have knowledge. You are stronger. You are less fearful. You are bolder right now. You have networks and you feel you need to go back and address something that happened in the past when you felt you were weaker. It is not the money. It is not the networks that make you stronger now. It is the knowledge which forms the basis of your decision making that makes you stronger now. And you will know that you are strong if you are able to walk away from that and forgive your younger self and say, I did that because that's all I knew. I did not know better. I say this even to people who struggle with releasing, for example, their parents and they say they grew up probably in abusive homes or they felt their parents were so tough, their parents were toxic. Sometimes it's, they were not even trying to be that. That's all they knew. The only way they knew how to take care of you was to be authoritarian. And maybe that's how they were raised as well. So now that you know better, you can let go of that and you can start better with your own family, with your own relationships. If you saw abuse elsewhere, probably that's all those people knew. Now you have the opportunity to look back in retrospect and then look into the future and decide what kind of future do you want to create. You shouldn't get stuck at it and talk about for the next 30, 40 years how you were hurt, how you were left, how you were abandoned by your parents, how your family was dysfunctional, how your brothers and sisters mistreated you, how you lived with relatives and they mistreated you. Somewhere along the line, you need to move out of it. Also, the mistakes that you would have made. And at that particular point, you did what you did. So you got pregnant for somebody. Well, you thought they were in love with you. They weren't. You got pregnant for them and then they bolted. So what do you do with yourself? You did that because that's what you knew then. You thought that everybody was as innocent as you were or everybody meant well the way you did. Now you know that not everybody thinks the way you do. So if you have to commit to something, then you're going to have to look for something that is a bit more concrete than just the love that you felt before. The mistake is not the mistake you made. The mistake is to repeat mistakes over things that you should have learned better and known better about. So in getting unstuck, remember, you did what you did because of what you knew then. You are better now, so forgive yourself and get unstuck from the past. Well, that's all the time I've had for you today, right here on Wisdom Moments on K24 with me, CJ Temo the Sage, and I hope that this is helpful to you. I hope it's bringing therapy and healing to your soul and energizing your mind, strengthening you to go forward and to let the past be in the past. Don't get stuck either in the victories or the losses of the past. Till the next time, keep it right here. Remember to check out Panari Hotel and also to connect with me on all my social media platforms, CGA Temo, everywhere.